Holy cow. Hey, how's it going? Walk the life with Bilsif. I'm your host, friggin' Bilsif. Well, as you can see, I'm cleaning the firewall on my Chevy Silverado. And where I'm sitting, down here, the frame's getting pretty clean it is. So we're getting there. But I've been doing this now for about three nights after work, and let me tell you what, it's a slow process. That's why I haven't recorded any of it. Because it can get pretty boring, it can, of me grinding and this and that and the other thing. Well, oh, careful, but I haven't had you on here in a bit. So I figured I'd show you where I am on this. That's where I am on this project. Very slow. GM put some of this body seam seal shit on there and it just cocks over the whole situation. When you sand her off, she goes brown. kind of stuff you gotta have a bit of quite a bit of patience you do because it's not an easy job it takes forever and you just it just oh man you know Ow, oh. yeah so you know it just takes forever you gotta watch the old harness here too because it's kind of you keep just cocking it over and i got my little connectors for my throttle body ejection there and they just keep getting them away and i should probably move that thing because I don't even know why that's there to be honest with you. I think I might tidy up these wires too while I'm down here. I don't know where that one's going. Oh, here it is. It's going over here for some reason. That must be something to do with a heat riser valve or something. These, I don't have a clue where they go. Must be part of the, the thing, eh? You know what I'm talking about when I say the thing? That thing. We can undo that clip and kind of straighten that out too, we can. Very right, we can. Here, let's unhook that for now. There we go. Wow. Yeah. but it's not too bad in here like just got a little bit of cleanup to do around the steering column here and we'll clean up some of these wires maybe get them over here out of the way so i'm not looking at them as much you know get them down here zip tie them to this or that or the other fucking thing one of the twos or the threes one of the threes or the fours gonna get the steering column out we ordered ourselves a uh high ratio steering box thanks ty for pointing me in the right direction on that son of a bitch but we need a seven mil to get that out of the way so we can finish the firewall over here maybe get oh hey how you doing maybe get some of this stuff out of the way and we'll clean up the firewall around here maybe pull the wiper motor off we're not going to pull this thing off it's going to stay there for now but we might be able to paint a little better since we're in here and close to it if you know what i'm saying Let's get this thing ripped apart and pulled out. I'm going to finish wire wheeling down here first. You can watch if you want, but if not, I understand. But I'm going to finish down here real quick while I'm here. Because that's what I do. No point in getting up when I'm almost done. Not exactly sure what is going on here, to be honest with you. Oh, it's got little grommets over the screw holes. Great. Careful. I can't get in there, Jim. I got an idea. Let's stretch it. See if that works. Holy frig, Jim. Holy frig, Jim. Get right in there. Get her right in there, Captain. Gentle. Frig. Well, there we go. We kind of got around them screws. Put our little grommets back on there facing down so it doesn't look so cocked over because i didn't realize there were little grommets on there I mean, getting little factory nibbers 
That there would be the gas pedal screws. I almost guarantee myself on that one. I don't care myself to see how much of that, but that's one I do guarantee it's on. Do you believe me? I wouldn't. Boys, girls, peoples. Okay. Oh. Easy. That's not the easiest spot to get to, let me tell you what. Oh, wait. Down there. I'm getting in there somewhere. Well, yeah, that's not a good spot at all. Let's do that. And then we can do this. Maybe do a little bit of that. I should order some move. Fucking, you know, that stuff they call heat shrink or loom or that stuff. Should order some more of that stuff. What have I done? What is really going on? Anyways, this is gonna be flat black now, just so you know. If anybody don't like that, it's just too bad. That's what she's gonna be. Seven nil. Here we go. First start something and then say to yourself, what the fuck was I thinking? Unhooked. Unhooked. So we're good there and here and there. Should have plugged that. Wherever it goes to. Oh, it goes all the way there. Frig! Stay there. There we go. You did it. Down the way. Okay, so let's get these bumps off the firewall over here. I'm gonna need this one. Where is it? Here it is. This guy. Yeah, we did. New one. No, we didn't. Yeah, we could have. Maybe. Maybe not. Not too sure yet. That's a tough little corner to get into over here. Especially with the tools I got. I put my hat in there, but it will just fuck everything up. I got a friend haunting down there, too. Got some hurt here to do. I need some fuel. My fuel lines must be leaking. Oh, freaking right there. Boys, one's the return line. You better get that out of the way. Throwing sparks all over the place. Down there. there we go. Stay down there. Ah, no, that's not done. Fuck, we still gotta do all down in here. Oh, hey. I think I'm gonna worry about down there. I'm think just gonna paint that. Leave your comments down below if you would just paint it. Yeah, freaking right, yeah. It looks pretty good though. We're getting her. Gotta get on the other side of the steering column there and sand that down. Well, then that will be ready to go, kinda. Not a bad harness, to be honest with you. It's not too bad. It's pretty neat and tidy. Ooh, looks like that fuel line was freaking decked over too at one point. Looks like it had a little bit of a squeeze to her. Why is that so friggin' long? What happened? What else should we do? We should take that off, because that doesn't even be there. I'm talking about that thing right there. I gotta get into this corner here on the heater box. I should just pull the heater box off. That would probably be the easiest way to do it. Then just reseal her back on. Uh, leave her glossy. We'll leave that glossy in the firewall black. Flat. Flat, black. Black, flat. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time anyway. Look at this area. Tell me that's not gonna be a cock. Right down in here, we gotta clean all this up. Look at that, how are we gonna do that? We're not, that's not even gonna happen. We're gonna just have to paint all this flat black. I'll have to clean this up a little bit. Can't really get into here at all. This might, this can come off a little bit, pull that away. I guess I could pull the whole harness off the wall, get it away. I could probably get in there. We might have to try it. The only thing that we're not gonna get off is that grommet. But if we get this all out of the way, we might be all right. We might be, we might be okay. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think I should do there. I know what I think I should do, but let me know anyway. But I can get this part right now, right here. Holy dicks. Need to be a contortionist. Okay, let's try this angle. Nope, that's not gonna work. Let's try this angle. Anybody got a sandblaster? We take that bolt out. We might be able to move this a little bit. We'll have to do that and try it. Let's we'll see if we can't get back in here again. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we are. Uh, maybe. Ooh, ooh, hey. ooh. Oh, oh, oh. See something. Careful. There it is. I got it. Man, oh man. That's beauty. 
friggin' right is beauty. We're almost ready to put the engine back in. You believe me? I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm fucking close. <laughs> I'm still gonna clean all this frame up. Oh god. I might need a wire wheel right there. I threw it away, didn't I? You probably can't do it now. Can you see me? Probably not. How you doing? I can't see you, so don't worry about it. Well, there we go. I got my first coat of friggin' flat black on the firewall. We'll have to let that dry and see how the flat black looks on the firewall. I think it'll be all right. Flat black is a good color for a firewall. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And I did the the uh, cross member in flat black as well. And then we'll do the frame and gloss. And uh, don't know what we're going to do with the wheel wells yet. Leave a comment below if you have any ideas for that. Why wouldn't you? I got, a, uh, I got one of those Hayuna, Hayuni? Hayani excavators, those remote art remote control RC excavators. Let me know in the comments below if you'll want to see that thing go. Because we might play with that this weekend too. Depends how long this paint takes to dry. I can't really do much else in here until this paint's dry. If you know what I'm saying. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see some more of this. Got to get the other engine out and the other transmission off and unbolt it. It'll take you long for the ride with that. We'll do a disassemble transmission and reassemble transmission video. I need the flywheel off that engine to put that on that engine. So we're going to have to do a double whammer. A double, how you doing? A double, why wouldn't you? Friggin' right we will. But things are going along pretty good here. Can't wait to get this engine back in, to be honest with you. That way, at least it's in. So we might get that done before winter. I don't know if I'm gonna wait until next, until spring to put it in. I think we're gonna get her done sooner than later. Cause I don't like it not running. It's making me friggin' antsy. Can't sleep at night. Feel stressed out. What happens if I die tomorrow? Then truck's worth nothing because it doesn't run. Friggin' if I die tomorrow, then the wife's gonna go, what am I supposed to do that day? That's no good. Friggin' no. So I have to get that taken care of now. Because, you know, when it comes to dying, you can't trust a damn soul. They'll come over and say, that's only worth this much like that, so I'll just give you this much for it. And she'd say, okay, because you don't have a clue. But anyways, we're going to carry on here, go inside, have a shower, clean up the old hand of roost keys, and have something to eat. That's what I think is a good idea. But I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're along. This is an update video on how the Chevy Silverado is coming. The old R10. For most of you guys, C10s. I mean, there's not too many R10s out there. There's one year of R10. If anybody's wondering... The difference between C10 and R10. R10 was an 87. That's the only year for throttle body fuel injection. So they call it an R10. So basically this truck is a C10, but it's an R10. You know what I'm saying? Just because it has fuel injection. That's the only reason, really. This one here did have the freaking tow package. Oh, she did have the 400 turbo HD in her and the tranny cooler and the hitch and this and that and the other thing, but she's not going to be now. It's going to be light duty with a 700 R4 skins. Friggin' right. Anyways, there's this little history moment with Bill Sub there. Hopefully you enjoyed it. But anyways, yeah. Hey?